Uh, my name is Chris. I'm uh, French and work for Neoen. Uh, Neoen is a power producer, so what we sell is electricity. And now we have a project happening in parks. I'm Amanda. I was born and bred in Forbes. I now live in West Wylong, which is an hour and a half drive to work at the solar farm. I'm Ken. I'm a third generation farmer in the Parks District. Our family's been on this farm for over a hundred years now, and I'm sure my grandfather would never have thought that he would have a solar farm next door to him. So I worked in mining for 10 years close to home and wanted a change, so here I am at the solar farm in Parks. Well, the idea is to meet with people at Arena and the company in charge of the works, uh, Bui Construction, to discuss about how the project uh, progresses. We're halfway through the works and our obligation as a developer and owner of this project is to provide some knowledge sharing. It's good to see you, Matt. So one of Arena's main objectives is knowledge sharing. The purpose of that knowledge sharing is really to develop industry knowledge to assist our future projects and then the industry more broadly. So it does create a cyclical um, flow of knowledge to, to more participants in the market. Look, I just love farming. It's been a challenge to me to try and get those extra 1% of production out of our sheep flock, out of our pastures. I get a lot of pleasure out of walking through a lovely lucent stand. The solar resources in Australia, it's really impressive. And for example, this project would uh, generate probably 50% more electricity for a given panel than the average solar project we have in France. My father was an electrical fitter by trade and he worked on the Snowy Mountain scheme. And as a boy, I spent a lot of time down around the lakes created by that scheme, which created interest in construction. Since joining the industry, I've worked for 45 years on various projects, the last 20 years across Southeast Asia on major infrastructure projects, railways, power stations, hotels, etc. And now I've come back to Australia to work on a solar farm, thinking back to the Snowy Scheme and how that was creation of renewable energy, and this is another aspect of that. So it's something that I think is good for Australia, and it's good for, uh, good for myself because it's it's good for our country. As well as being a sheep farm, I'm also the Mayor of Park Shire. Delighted to do that because we've got a very innovative and exciting community who are willing to try new things. Park Shire Council has embraced solar energy. Uh, we were one of the biggest uptakes of solar panels in, in Australia. We had over 300 homes put solar panels on their roof in a community rollout scheme. We're an Adelaide-based electrical design and construct company. Um, we've been contracted by Boyd Construction Australia to design and construct the electrical uh, substation for the Park Solar Farm, uh, and that includes the grid connection of 66 kV to the Park's transgrid substation. The key deliverable that companies like Boyd and Neowen bring to Australia is the expertise they bring with them and the ability to train Australian engineering graduates in the skills necessary to develop this type of project. My job here as a site engineer, I'm focusing on the mechanical part, which is a tracker system. Basically, I am deal with our subcontractor, which is Tranix, to build the foundation of the solar farm. Our background is road signage and barriers. My role is basically to make sure we're doing everything in the most efficient way. Like, if these guys can save even a couple of seconds on a panel, there's 227,000 of them, so it's going to make a big difference in time by the end of the job. It's a big decision for me, applying on residence here in Australia. But I'm quite excited about what I'm doing every day. And I feel like I build some uh, connections with all the panels here. It's like uh, they're, all my, they're all my babies. I'm Tori, uh, born and bred Parks. 
grew up here all my life. I used to work with my dad as a welder. Uh, my first day I was a pole stander and then one of the boys let me have a go at the machine and I picked that up pretty quick and then now I've, I'm team leader of a little team, which is good. We have the ability now to index sheep from the best sheep in the mob down to the worst sheep. So it's all about using technology to your advantage and improving your flock over time. We started off doing 30 rows a day, but now we've got to 52 in a day. And like, yeah, it's just the local labour, they just come up with better ideas, they come up with better ways to do it. And yeah, it's just whatever it is, it works. Well, we've got a um, bit of an incentive going. So at the end of the week, yeah, you can make whatever you want if you get in and do the hard work. It's a good thing, like, it doesn't seem to hurt anything. It's definitely some sort of farming. You're improving something to make a product, to on-sell it, to make your profit and make something out of, the, out of nothing. It's interesting, farmers use solar energy just like the solar farm. We harvest the sunlight, it creates photosynthesis with our green plants and that drives our production system. So out of our pastures, this one's been frosted now, but there's still lovely clover and ryegrass underneath. Uh, those solar panels here are absorbing light, so the light will motivate the electronics and it will be transferred into electricity and run through all those cables under the panel to the substation over there. And that's how the solar light transfer to electricity. So the electricity generated from the solar farm once it enters the grid from the existing substation, it can travel anywhere on the eastern seaboard from Queensland all the way to Tasmania. Did I think about renewable energy? No. Now definitely have an awareness of it and do I think we need to make the change? Yes, I do for us and for our future generations. We only just moved here. I'm chippy by trade and I was going to start out on my own. But I thought I'd get a bit more cash behind me first and things are going really good out here and there's a lot of opportunity, so we'll see where that takes us. Yeah, it's, it's going to get big, I think. Real big. It's kind of a bit of giving back out here, whereas in mining it's more take and no give. Yeah, it's really nice and refreshing. <laughs> well, I, I guess the Australian people uh, want to have access to cheap electricity and reliable electricity. So the, this energy transition happening right now in Australia and around the world is something really big. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty passionate about it, I would say. We're like a big family. And at the end of the day, we look around and yeah, it's massive. I do it all to support my children and show them that hard work does pay off and you can do anything. Climate change is happening. I think the science is irrefutable about that. So we have to do everything we possibly can to ameliorate the effects of climate change. Uh, and to me, things like the solar farm are just an ideal way that we can reduce our carbon emissions. As a result of the competitive round, we now see that the sector is mature, we see it stand alone, we see it's commercially viable, and going forward over the next 20 years plus, you know, we see huge potential for the sector um, in terms of the scale, size, and its competitiveness.